I realised I haven't actually vlogged in a while because the vlogs I put up the last couple of days were from about a week or so ago. So I thought I'd vlog today. Not too much happening. I plan on filming a video which I really really sort of planned out well. I'm just a bit like nervous about filming it because I don't know I just when I make videos that are more than just sit down me videos I get really panicky about it and I end up just not doing them so this year I'm really gonna push myself to just do them because once they're done I'm always really happy with them like the halo braid tutorial that I did I was really happy with that and it took ages to do but it was so worth it so I'm gonna try and film my hair care routine today and then after that I'm hoping I've got enough time to run into town I want to get some baskets for my um, bathroom and my bedroom for storage. I do actually have some, I'll show you. They're these little cute white baskets with this like beige material thing in there. And this one, I've just put my Lush stuff in. And then this one here, I'm putting minus the cotton wool pads. This is all my stuff to mention in empties videos. And then I have a slightly big one in my bedroom, which is holding things like my... Um, straighteners, curlers and hair dryer. And then I realised that those baskets are really handy and I could probably use them for my nail polishes and bits like that. So, <coughs> sorry, I've just woken up my voice, it's really croaky. So when I get some of those, then I really want to go to Holland and Barrett, get some gluten-free goodies because I have a feeling that it's gluten that is triggering my IBS. And some of you guys might know that I did have a test for celiac disease, which came back negative but the doctor said that I could still have an intolerance to gluten. So I'm gonna have to be really, really strict for the next couple of weeks and get rid of gluten out of my diet and see if that makes a difference. If not, I might see if it's dairy instead. Jesus, that's a big strawberry. That's like three in one. Such a weird shape. So that's my breakfast. And I got my peppermint tea. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I bought these the other day quickly show you I actually posted a picture of them on Instagram if you want to go follow me on Instagram it's at Rihanna Nashley <laughs> I always link it in the down bar so I popped into Paper Chase and I got these two little notepads and that's Paper Chase as well but I got that last year I really like these this one I have all my to-do lists in and then this one is all my like video ideas sorry it looks a bit of a mess over here but look what I got through the post today I love it but I don't know where to put it because I don't know, I feel a bit out. Oh, I've got stuff in my eye. Yeah, I don't know where to put it, so it's currently just been sat on my sofa. I've done my makeup and I've got dressed for my video. I didn't know what to wear because I'm just washing my hair and then just drying it and curling it. It's got this cardigan on from HM and this stripy top from Topshop, and then I've just got another baggy top underneath it just a white one and then I've just got some leggings on so now I've got to figure out how I'm gonna set this video up it's gonna be quite hard filming in my bathroom but I, I hope it goes okay oh I'm so annoyed I've like got everything in the bathroom I've got my tripod up and then I realized I don't have the hair mask that I wanted to show in the video and me being the perfectionist that I am wants a hair mask to show in the video because even though it's not part of my well everyday routine i don't wash my hair every day so it's not an everyday hair routine probably do a hair mask every other wash so i did kind of want to show myself doing a hair mask in the video so i think what i'm gonna have to do is quickly put some actual jeans on and get that hair mask and i oh, i don't know what to do i don't know whether i should just wait until tomorrow morning to film and get up really early and film the video then. So Doug was meant to be coming back tonight, but he um, has to be on call, which means he has to stay at work tonight. So he'll be here tomorrow morning. I'm going to assume he'll be here around 11 or 12. So if I get up at silly o'clock in the morning, I could probably then film the video. Maybe, yeah, okay, right. I'm not gonna film the video today because it is raining. Well, it's kind of raining, but the clouds are proper, proper like dark outside. Like seen there but it looks like it's gonna piss it down which means my bathroom is pretty dingy and so not very good for lighting so i'm hoping tomorrow it'll be a bit sunnier so i'm gonna figure out what to wear finally got majority of my clothes back from my dad's look at that that just is ridiculous who needs that many clothes so i've got like shirts here i've got little flowy strappy t-shirts here 
and then it goes into just like normal cotton tees and then I do have a lot of t-shirts and jeans and other bits and bobs and like gym wear in those chest of drawers and then I've got like this kimono and then it goes into dresses and I've got a couple of little play suits and more dresses more dresses more dresses 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 some trousers a jumpsuit and then it goes into like little cropped slash short sleeve jumpers and then normal long sleeved jumpers and more jumpers and more jumpers and then down here i just have a few skirts i love this one that i got last year from rocket but it's vintage and it's falling apart it's really big for me so i need to get it taken in and i need to get one of the seams mended and then i've got mabel here i like left her my old place for ages and i felt really bad so i brought her back and she's currently just sitting on this box which has some hats and some scarves and gloves in i think i might wear this denim skirt i've not worn it for years so i'm changed and i've got this black jumper on from asos then i've got this skirt on which i've had for almost four years now it's a really old top shop one it's high-waisted denim and I've tucked this in, although at the back I've just let it go baggy. I do really, really like it. It is pretty short. It's okay from the front, but from the back, I don't know. I just think it's really short. You probably can't tell on camera, but uh, yeah, it's quite short. I can probably show you in the mirror. Yeah. See, that's the skirt. It is a weird shape. Um, it's not too bad from the front, but at the back, like, one, it flicks out like that, which looks silly. But two, it like kind of goes up in the middle. Ooh, oh, I forgot I was zoomed in. Okay. Oh, there we go. A little bit like conscious that everything's on show, but I don't think it is. It's just the style of the skirt. I don't know whether to put a belt on around this. What do you guys think? I might try it with a belt. I only have a few belts here. Although I say here, I don't think I have any more belts left in my wardrobe at my dad's. So um, I might just have this one on from Rocket. My anxiety is really, really bad today. I think maybe it's because this video and I know I want to get this video done and I'm off schedule a little bit. I don't know what it is, but I just feel really whew, panicky. So I'm just going to let it all out and talk to you guys today and hopefully I'll be okay. Right, I'm off into town now and I think I'm shouting at you because I've got my headphones in. Listen to Michael, um, not Michael, Ingrid Michaelson, that's it. I didn't realise she had a new album out last year, so I'm enjoying listening to that on Spotify. Can I just say, thank you so much to all the lovely comments I've been getting lately. I mean, I've, and I'm probably going to jinx this, but I've had no nasty comments probably this year. I, I don't know whether it's just because I'm happier because I'm in my new place, or whether it's just generally the atmosphere of the new place that you guys like, or I don't know. Maybe I've just got better at vlogging. Who knows? But thank you so much because I've just been really loving reading all your lovely comments and so many of you who don't normally comment have been commenting and it's really, really, really nice. So thank you. So I've ended up in Tesco and I was meant to just get some apples and some eggs and I've ended up in the gluten free section. I didn't know they had this. I'm probably going to cheaper here than I can and hold in the barrel although they don't have everything. But um, I'm just picking up some stuff like pasta and like snacks, snacky stuff like bars and stuff. I'm back now and I've got the shakes I really need some food. I'll quickly do a little food haul uh, for you as it's kind of quite different stuff than what I would normally get. I only got a couple of bags and I think I think I might put you guys up here. Oh no okay that's not gonna work. Oh flipping it. This isn't gonna work. Oh I've had to balance you on a bottle and then to stop the camera flipping over because of the lens, I've had to put a, like a knife underneath it and it's like balancing on this bit of the knife. Now I have both hands to show you some food bits. First thing I got is I got some pak choy. I love the stuff and I haven't used it for ages and so I thought I would use it for my dinner tonight. And then in the gluten free range I got some tomato and basil pasta sauce and it's free from gluten, uh, wheat and milk but I'm mainly just getting it for the fact that it's free of gluten. I know that I should make my own pasta sauces because it's just a lot more cost effective but I don't have pasta all the time. Even though in my vlogs it must look like I do, um, I actually don't so um, I just like to have them in the cupboards. Next thing I got was some pure porridge oats and it's free from again milk, gluten and wheat 
and Wheaton and Wheat. And then I saw these bars and I don't really have that many snacky things. So I got these snack bars, there's four in here and they're called Nine Bar. The great tasting nutritious mixed seed energy bar and they look like they've got like chocolate over the top these are the original ones i really don't even know what they are contains a unique mix of naturally nutritious seeds bursting with superfood boosting god goodness nine bar gets its name from blah blah blah, blah. all right well, what are they do they have chocolate on top i don't know i'll we'll have to wait and see won't i and then the other stuff i got i got some orange juice i've never had this brand before i've had a little um, apple juice version from this brand called cold press yeah cold press um, in a goodie bag once and I drank it on the train home and I really liked it and I really loved the fact that it um, has no preservatives no concentrates no added sugar no added color no added flavors it's ooh, what was that something just fell off of it um, it's kind of as natural as you can get and Obviously it still has a load of sugar in it because it's fruit. I don't get orange juice that much and I'm going to try and make this last kind of like a week or so because I don't like to have too much juice because it's got so much sugar in. Anyway, let's stop talking about orange juice, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, so then I got three apples, these are Braeburn apples. I really like them and I recently got a Cora thing, you know the stuff that um, takes the core out of the apple. It's amazing and now I want to eat apples all the time. And then I got some rice noodles and then I just got some organic British free range eggs. Found this gluten free pasta which looks really interesting. And that is everything. So I'm going to pop this stuff away and probably start to make dinner because I'm a bit hungry. So I have a load of uh, vegetables in here that I want to use and I went to the farmer's market the other week and got some lovely leeks and kale and carrots so I'm going to stir fry those up. The past year I've been going to events pretty much every week at least once or twice a week and I've just not been for ages because it's cold weather just makes me want to do nothing and I am so annoyed because last night I didn't go to this event I was invited to and, and I thought they were just like releasing a book and I didn't read the leaflet properly and it was quite a big launch party and I find out that not only was Ed Sheeran there but One Direction were there or well like two of One Direction were there two out of five of them were there Harry, Harry Styles and Liam Payne were there and I'm not like a huge fan of like their music anymore but they're still Harry Styles and Liam Payne I would have liked to have said I hung out with them last night so I kind of uh kind of a bit miffed last night when I found out and I was so close to going I was meant to be going with Helen from Helen Men Lady but then she got the dates mixed up and had a gig so I was like okay and I was so tempted to go and I just thought you know you know what I'm just now I'm gonna stay home and tidy the house and stuff and that is what I get for being sensible chopped up some courgettes some red onion some carrots and some leeks and I thought to chop up my pak choy and now I'm just gonna add these noodles mix all these sauces and honey and that together and that's pretty much it i keep forgetting to buy a wok and before i've even put the noodles in i'm not going to put them all in i don't think probably just half of the packet but the noodles aren't even in yet and i can barely even stir this without stuff going over the edge of this pan it's just because i want to try and find a wok that's the same cream color as all my pans but i can't find one so i think i'm just gonna have to grit my teeth and just get a normal black wok. See, look, man overboard. All done, took no time at all. And I've still got loads left over. I always end up making like two portions. Well, I know Towie's on tonight. Woo. Uh, but that is not on until. Oh God. Oh, oh I just turned the DVD player on. Well done, we ended. Oh, for God's sake, now I just turned my UV box off. Let's try this again. I'm going to sit here and do a week in photos post and I'll quickly show you my eBay collection page. I've got 12 collections and stuff inspired by Valentine's Day which has been and gone now. Um, like Global Traveller, floral stuff, um, nautical theme. You can't really see it that well. This is like an Easter theme so it's all like pastel colours, black and white stuff, all pink stuff, 
winter warmer collection teenage dirt bag so it's like grunge 90s theme smock dresses alexa chung inspired and my brown eyed girl which is 60s inspired so like i said i'll link them in the down bar if you want to go check them out so i'm hungry and i'm going to try one of these bars that i got earlier mmm okay. i'm pretty good it's like nuts covered in maple syrup with a little bit of chocolate on the top yummy I'm still waiting for the programs that I want to watch tonight to come on demand and they seem to be taking ages. I don't understand. Sometimes they're on exactly an hour after they started, so literally the second that they stop. And sometimes they just take their jolly old time. I want to watch TOWIE, I want to watch Secret Eaters and I want to watch First Dates. I really like that program. It's a good show. I'm quite chilly so I've bunged on this old jumper that I actually got in Top Man ages ago. I've taken my nail polish off. I don't know why that came off so quick. I actually had it on for 24 hours and it already chipped. But I'm just going to go for this light pink Barry M nail polish. I've just spent the last two hours procrastinating. My battery's running out. I'm going to say goodbye. I'm not too sure if I'm going to put this vlog up. Because I feel like this vlog is just literally me indoors all day. We shall see. Um, if not, I'm probably going to definitely vlog tomorrow, so if you're watching this, then there'll probably be two videos up. Not on the same day, but you know what I mean. And if you're not watching this, then you're not watching this, and there's no point in me even saying that. So, anyway, I will see you in my next video. Bye!